Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here on a very glorious, albeit cold, bagel Sunday. Obviously I'm on my way to go get bagels right now. It was pretty cold last night, it still is. It's only 32 degrees, so the heater was running all night. It is a gorgeous day though, sunny, perfect blue sky, and that leads me to what I'm gonna to talk to you about today, and that is setting priorities. I have not prioritized responsibly or correctly for where I'm at right now. So I am behind on day job stuff. You've heard me whining about that for a while now. I had just not had any gumption, or any motivation to, to do what I need to do. And it led to a huge backup. You remember I said I had to catch up on like four weeks worth of updates, which I did. I'm fairly keeping up to date now week by week, but there are certain things that I haven't done that I gotta do. And that leads me to discipline. I have to prove to myself that I have the discipline to do what I need to do, which is set priorities and set them correctly. So to prove to myself that I actually still do have discipline and that I can set proper priorities, today, despite the fact that it is gorgeous and sunny, albeit a little chilly, I am going to stay inside all day and I am going to do day job work. Not the whole time, because that's not necessary, but I am going to pretty much, other than maybe going to get bean later, I'm not gallivanting about today. I'm not going to shoot pictures or all that stuff. I'm going to sit inside and I am going to prioritize what I need to get done in the order that it makes the most sense. And then I'm going to do it. And I'm going to then flow that into my normal office day as well and get my laundry done and so on and so forth. So that's what's gonna to happen today. Not gonna to be very exciting, but you know, it is necessary. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, but I'm gonna go get bagels. Bagels gotten. All right, so there are a lot of concepts and ideas and things in general that sort of fit in place. And that would be discipline, prioritizing, or priorities, decisions, all that kind of stuff happens. I made a decision to not prioritize day job and didn't do a damn thing because I didn't have any discipline. <laughs> See how it all fits together? So that's why I'm going to make the decision or I'm going to have the discipline to make the tough decision to prioritize day job. How's that sound? And it is incredibly necessary because again, I am behind on my goals, my quarterly goals. Now, one thing can change all that, so hopefully that goes through, but the point being is that I shouldn't be at this point now. I'm here because I didn't prioritize properly. So I need to completely change my whole game plan. And for me, like it has to be all encompassing. I'm very bad about well, I guess I'm not bad about making little decisions that lead to bigger decisions or little changes that lead to big changes. I guess I'm doing that without realizing it. But the point is that I need to have an all encompassing change to everything that I'm doing. So the fact that I'm cutting down my gear kit and buying certain things and getting rid of a bunch of other things so that I get to the point where I want to be so that I can have my flow going the way that I want it to go that's most beneficial for me and everybody else around me, that requires me to then get my day job shit prioritized properly so that I'm making smart decisions that allow me to buy new gear and sell gear and get shit the right that it should be, which also leads to my health because if I'm slacking and I'm not keeping myself healthy and then I sit have to sit in the office all day and then I get a headache and then, and then I'm miserable and then that leads to me also not wanting to do what I need to do. You see how it all sort of fits together? So if you look at it as, as a circular pie chart, I have certain parts of that pie that I'm taking care of, but then I'm neglecting other parts of it. And that's making the whole thing not work 
the way that it should be optimally. So that's why I am trying to, I don't know, work out my discipline muscles and work out my decision-making muscles so that I get them back to where they need to be and they get used to, you know, well, I get used to making decisions and I get used to prioritizing correctly and I, I get used to using my self-discipline to make myself do all the other things. It, it's very difficult for me to explain this, so I feel like I'm rambling, but I think you get the gist of it. You, you ha have to constantly make decisions because they're just like a muscle. If you don't use the muscle, it, it weakens and, and then it's tougher to use. So you kind of have to keep making decisions and prioritizing things. You got to keep setting priorities because if you don't set priorities, then you weaken that muscle and then you're bad at making priorities and all that kind of stuff. And then you're basically just eking your way through life, letting shit happen rather than making shit happen. Today, the monkey's making shit happen. First of all, I'm gonna make these bagels disappear, and then I'm gonna get cracking on all the other stuff. So for now, let's go snarf some bagels. Okay, kids, things are moving along at what I feel is a rapid pace. I'm thrilled with my progress so far. I have done a ton of stuff today. I actually went into the garage to look through some of the Rubbermaid stuff to see if I could find a couple of the cases or covers that I had for some of my past iPads. I don't know what the hell I did with it, it's gone, so I didn't worry about it. I ordered another uh, one of those like smart covers for my 10 and a half inch Pro that I'm now going to use as my work iPad because the work iPad that I have is so old that it's painfully slow and messed up and I also cracked it. So now the 10 and a half inch iPad that I used to use over my bed is now going to be the work iPad. Then I took my newest 12.9 inch iPad Pro and put it in the bedroom. So now I don't know why I never did that before because it's been sitting here in my, in my bedroom since I, I mean, in my office, since I stopped using it for editing on the road, <laughs> like I ever did that. Ever since I got that uh, MacBook Air M1, that has been the thing that I use now for any kind of editing or all that kind of shit. So now that will stay that way. The big 12.9 is in the bedroom. It was a pain in the ass to get this thing to switch over. Unlike yesterday, when we just put the SIM from the old phone into the new phone and everything just synced up. Not the case here today. I ended up having to do, probably took me an hour and a half to get the photos to go away from my personal account to my work account because I have two separate Apple IDs. Eventually I got that to work, but not without some finagling. And then I had a real hard time getting the messages to sync up. Kept telling me that the messages in like my iMessage and my Apple account were different and they weren't. So I scoured the internet. I tried every fix that they said, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. Then all of a sudden one time after I restarted, it just worked. Don't know how couldn't explain it to you, don't care. It works now. So now my new iPhone 13 Pro Max, not my 2013 iPhone Pro Max, Yankee Cowboy. The new phone is all set up for work. Everything is synced and good to go. The new, well, the old, but new to me, I guess, work iPad is now set up and that's good to go. And everything's peachy. Well, while I was down in the garage looking for the, the case, I ended up just taking a, probably less than five minutes to go ahead and break everything down and move it out of the way for the garage door repair person who's coming early tomorrow morning. So I got that done too. Then I also have just started my laundry, a, probably a two or three hours earlier than I normally do. So that's good to go and that's going. But as far as day job goes, I have done my timesheet. I ended up doing the equivalent of two expense reports into one, got that all done. I also got everything organized and ready to go. So I'm like way ahead of my game as far as day job stuff goes. Next step is to do my Salesforce update recap shit from this past week, download reports for the coming week, and then do a couple other things that I, I kind of want to accomplish 
by the end of the day. But I mean, I'm, I'm way ahead of my schedule and I'm pretty happy about it. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about the way things are going. Gonna show you two things now. I kind of redid the setup here uh, at the desk just for the, the, uh, the ninja, where the ninja goes, because it was just too wobbly and I didn't like it. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So what I ended up doing was taking the, uh, I guess this was the mounting that came with the Feel World monitor that I was using and jury rigged that into another small rig mini ball head, which is then jury rigged onto just this little extension arm. And I got that all hooked up here. So now this thing doesn't move. And then I can just mount the camera in from behind instead of from the front, which I mean, big deal. That's not that, that's, that's nothing. I just come in from the back and it all works in between all this stuff. Everything fits, everything sits where it's supposed to. Now this, basically, it, like the lens would be right here. So I'm barely looking down, but it isn't as obvious because it was hanging down here and it was coming out into the table and kind of bugging me. So that's all good to go. The next thing I wanna show you is why I like being at home doing day job work rather than being in a hotel. Now, I've got the iPad sitting there. I just finished charging it. You know, I put all my folders right there so that they're accessible. Then I have the keyboard and the mouse for the iMac, but then I also have keyboard and mouse that go with the work laptop that's sitting over there. Now I have two 27 inch screens that I can use to put all my stuff on here. Now it looks, at least according to the screen on the camera here, that it's kind of blanking out. But I mean, I have two reports open that I can refer to instantly. I have two different Word windows open so that I can go in and copy and paste and just change a couple of bits of information on my recaps. Plus I have Salesforce open in the background. Plus I have uh, Outlook open to send the emails and all that kind of stuff. So I've got these two 27 inch screens with all this shit open instead of one tiny ass little screen on my company laptop and more than likely with a shitty hotel Wi-Fi connection. So that's why I hate doing stuff on the road. And I normally don't even take the laptop with me because it's frustrating at best. That's why I try to accomplish as much as I can here before I have to go out or why I don't do it when I'm on the road and I do it when I get back. Now you have a little bit of insight into the insanity of my mind and what I do for work on day job stuff. So, all right, everything is again, moving right along. I've got everything all good to go. Um, since I couldn't find a, like a, the cover, I think I, if I mentioned it or not, I saw so I ordered a smart cover from Amazon for like 10 bucks. That'll be here tomorrow. And then that'll be covered. And that will be the, the iPad that I take with me on the road that I use for work now that it has the work SIM card in it. I'm probably gonna eat a late lunch, early dinner right now because I haven't eaten all I've had is liquids because I needed to sort of rehydrate. So that's that. I don't know that there's anything else for me to tell you today and I don't really wanna take the time to do an extensive edit. <laughs> layout like I do extensive edits, but I'm not gonna do that because I got other more important shit to do because I'm prioritizing. So take that away for my message today. You have to be able to make decisions that help you prioritize and you can't do any of that shit unless you have discipline. So there you go. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, I'll leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.